What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Um, this is What if Naruto had perfect genetics part 1. Before I start the video, I just want to say that um, Happy New Year. Today is the 31st. Well, it's actually New Year tomorrow, but whatever. Um, and I know you guys really want to see What if Naruto was from an astral clan part 6. So I will be dropping that tomorrow. But today, I'm going to be making What If Naruto Had Perfect Genetics. This video is going to be a little bit shorter than usual, but I hope you guys still enjoy. And yes, I will include Astral Genetics, just because you guys seem to love it. So I've been planning to do this for a while, but when I saw you guys commenting on certain per percentages of Naruto's genetics and heritage, I just thought giving him perfect genetics and a little bit of everything would satisfy everyone. And I was only planning on making it human clans at first, but as I said, when I saw you guys wanted an Atsutsuki and Astral mix, I thought I would include that. Um, if you don't know what an Astral is, then you should go over to my series of what if Naruto was from an Astral clan and had an ancient hill beast. There I explain the Astral Clan, their abilities, and history. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So the story begins with two clan heads, one of the Otsutsuki clan and one of the Astral Clan. These two clans have been fighting each other for generations and have been reincarnated into others of their clans, similar to Indra and Ashura. One day, in a fierce battle, the two clan heads died and were reincarnated again, but something unusual happened this time. They both hindered each other's reincarnation process because they were tired of fighting each other for so long. And so, instead of reincarnating into one of their own clan, they both reincarnated into humans far, far away on a planet known as Earth. However, then, when they thought nothing could get any worse, that things could get any worse, they were proved wrong, dead wrong. They both reincarnated into the same human. This human was later to be known as Naruto Uzumaki, our protagonist. This all happened on the night of the Nine Tails attack. The rest of the evening goes out pretty much like normal. But then, when Minato summons the Shinigami, the god of death, to seal the Nine Tails into Naruto with the Reaper Death Seal, everything changes. The Shinigami looks over to the baby and senses the two celestial clan heads chakra. The Shinigami is tired of letting Kenichi, the astral clan head, and Kuro, the Otsutsuki clan, had avoid death since every mortal must die at some point, and the Shinigami must oversee that. And so, since they have been alive for thousands of years and many generations, even after their actual deaths, the Shinigami made a questionable decision. Instead of sealing the Nine Tails, as he is supposed to, he hovers over to Naruto, pointed his soul, sorry, pointed his sword to the Nine Tails and quickly sealed him inside of Naruto. But then he sealed part of his own chakra into Naruto, so he could stop the cycle of reincarnation from the suit to, from the two Celestials by destroying the clan head's chakras in and souls from within naruto i know it's a little bit complicated but just if you didn't understand that basically the shinigami put some of his own chakra into naruto to stop the cycle of reincarnation <clears throat> at this point kenichi's kuro's and Shin and the shinigami's chakra start mixing this will change naruto's genetics over time and will make him stronger and stronger over time but more about that later However, because the Grim Reaper, aka the Shinigami, did more than he needed, he broke his 
promise and deal with Minato, and so he does not get Minato's soul in return for sealing Kuruma, as it was part of the deal. For plot armor, I'm also going to say that Kushina is going to stay alive, because let's just say that she actually died from helping Minato seal the Nine Tails. But now the Shinigami won't collect their souls, both Minato and Kushina will stay alive. Happy ending, yay. However, okay, well, when, then we cut forward to a few days later. When all the important clan heads have gathered in the third Hokage's office, actually just the Hokage's office, it's meant, is still alive. Also, Kushina, Minato, Hiruzen, and Naruto are there, as well as the village elders and Danzo. So it's a big gathering of important people. They're all gathered to discuss the event a few days ago, which destroyed a big part of the village, as well as its new Chinchuriki. They all look over to Naruto, for his looks have already started changing. He looks different than a few days ago. He's gotten a little paler and his hair, it's different now. Sometimes it looks silver, sometimes it's black, like the Ojihas. They're not sure what's happening with him. Maybe it was the Chinigami? Nobody has, an, nobody has a clue. <clears throat> Sorry. Naruto, my child has the entire Ninetales chakra sealed in him. If he learns to control this power, he can become a very powerful shinobi, Minato says. But I'm not sure about his seal. Although the Shinigami sealed the tailed beast, it was different than it should have been. The Grim Reaper moved to a different location over to Naruto without me having to do anything or even using any of my chakra. Not only that, but also, after using the Reaper Death Seal, I'm still alive. Then Naruto's hand touches Minato's cheek as he's bowing over him. Then they hear a deep, demonic voice. The seal is just fine. They all recognize this as the Nine-Tailed Chakra and voice. Even if it wasn't. He has enough chakra to bend mine at his will. They all looked shocked. You want to tell me this kid is powerful enough to bend the nine tails chakra and will? Couldn't be. Then Donzo arrives and tells Minato. Minato, your child has a lot of potential. You should give him over to me, and I could train him to become a powerful shinobi. Stop! Minato yells out. I will not allow it. But before Minato could continue talking, Naruto's changes, his chakra changes as well. Now he has a QB cloak, and the and Kurma yells out so loud the windows shatter and the Anbu come in to the room, all staring at Naruto, because even if they wanted to attack him. His bloodlust and chakra is immense, so much that it could even rival a Kage at this point. And he's only an infant, a baby to be more exact. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. If you want to see more videos like this and more of the series, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell. And as I said, I'll make the Astral Clan what if tomorrow. See ya.